Hello everybody, this is not a spring chick. And <laughs> did you know we, we discovered who was responsible for Benghazi? Did you know it was those damn Republicans? Okay, according to the president, well, it was of course the damn Republicans because well, what? They didn't have the funding? They weren't prepared? So of course it's their fault. Mm. Okay, meanwhile around the world in Cairns, the first day, well, it manages just to be overcast for the red carpet. It turns into rain by night's end. Um, it is now, I'm saying rain. It's a downpour in the south of France. It's expected to be overcast at least through the beginning of next week. We're hoping it'll clear up a little bit because the pictures look better, at least in some sun. Anyway, oh, I know. But it's opening weekend for the uh, Cannes Film Festival. We've got a lot of people over there. But stay tuned to our coverage on mbnnewsvideoweb.com and the travelsuite.com for the Cannes 2013. But oh, oh yes, we have to do get back to old cam right now with comments on the headlines of today. Across this way, so. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, the President of the United States just let everybody know the reason why Benghazi happened, the reason why there was a problem with the um, <coughs> IRS, and the reason why there's problems with um, uh, the AP is because Republicans cut back funding for what he needed for enforcement. But not to worry, he's going to make it his job to reinstall all that funding to make certain that, that, the, uh, that the people in this country get what they're paying for our government to do. And, you know, like they did say, it's the damn Republicans that are responsible for everything. Well, no. As they, even the press basically said, he, he can't respond to the AP problem other than the fact that it's got to do with funding because the Republicans cut back funding. He can't stand on the IRS, well, we didn't have all the safeguards in place because the Republicans cut back funding. And the Republicans cut back the money needed for embassy personnel. Uh, that's why it happened there. And unfortunately, none of it is true. Absolutely none of it because they had all the funding they had. The, uh, Benghazi had the funding it had from the year before. Sequester didn't happen until now. The uh, AP stuff happened the year before, and the uh, the stuff with the, uh, the the Internal Revenue Service happened while the, he, the Democrats were in control of Congress, folks. The Republicans couldn't have been responsible for any of the above. But Obama, that's his narrative, and he's going to stick to it. It's those damn Republicans. That's what the Democrats are saying this morning. And trio of troubles threatening Obama's second term. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, oh, well, it's, oh, it even is. made it worse this morning. He called a press conference that wasn't a press conference. But it was nothing more than he had the head of a state out there to make certain that nobody would ask him mm -hmm. a question that he couldn't answer this morning. Very limited questioning. He basically gave his, I'm mad, you know, I fired, I've already taken an action, I fired the person. Well, the person he fired is staying on the job. He only had 13 more days in a position to begin with, but he didn't want to hurt his family because of his mistake. Mm -hmm. and, you know, wasn't gonna, so, and then, he, I can't comment about AP. And then Benghazi, well, that's old history. And it's, it's been, the, they've been, it's being investig, it's been investigated, mm -hmm. and we know who, what the cause were. It was lack of funding. And Obama tells Harvey Weinstein, Justin Timberlake, to blame Rush Limbaugh. Well, I know Rush Limbaugh's having a good time. He said that, you know, they have told me repeatedly in the press that I lost, a, I, because of my attacks on this inept president, that I lost all of my advertisers and that I'm weakened. And now the President of the United States is telling people at another Hollywood party, he said, you know, maybe if he was actually doing business instead of going to Hollywood parties, we may not have had Benghazi, we may not have had the IRS, we may not have had AP. But he said, I. Even though I am very weakened and I don't, I'm not making money anymore, I, I am the leader of the Republican movement in the United States, and uh, they have to get rid of me so that he can accomplish anything. <laughs> I know, isn't that something? Well, he, what Obama didn't understand is some of those people he was talking to don't like him, and they went right to Rush Limbaugh and told him what they were saying. Oh, my God. Yeah. And Netanyahu's $140,000 in-flight bed becomes a political nightmare. I know. Uh, basically, he, he, he <laughs> that was dumb. To, he, put, he wanted to have a place that he could go lay down in on the uh, on the Israeli uh, government plane, which isn't really stupid. You have to understand the President of the United States has got millions of bucks into his bedroom. No, I mean, I, it, part of it is, is planes require special this and that, but it's like, 
It's all part of whatever they're doing. I mean, yes, it sounds like a huge tab, but I also do know it's it's specialty stuff. It's a government plane. It's a it's a government plane. They refit government plane with seats with accommodations. The seats slide in and out. They can put the the, the rooms are designed to be partitioned. So it cost one hundred forty thousand dollars to do all the partitioning on a plane, which basically. Uh, and probably every leader in the world does as soon as they take over on and they have the planes rejiggered for themselves. Well, of course, because they always say, you know, on some of those jets, it's like it's thirty, forty million dollars to do the interiors. Because I know my father, uh, okay, as our family expanded, my father changed that we had a bedroom in the back, and my father would change the structure of the airplane strictly for the family. <laughs> that was the well, family and you want, do want to have a place to rest. That's yeah, right. well, the girls needed a place that they could, they just couldn't use a regular porta potty. They had to have a bathroom. And Obama fires a man that was leaving his job anyway. I love it. The guy was on, he had 13 days left in his job. Ooh. And he wasn't being retained anyway. He was a temporary appointee by the president during, during a recess appointment, which the Congress of the United States went to court, said he didn't have the authority to do it, and he wasn't going to challenge it in the court because he's losing the challenges because the Constitution is very specific. If Congress, if the, if the Senate is in session, and if you're on the floor of the Senate talking business, that's in session, you can't make appointments. So he wasn't going to fight it to begin with. But don't worry, folks. One of the people he's blaming for the problem, well, because they don't want to hurt his family because of his mistakes. I'm going, he's going to stay on the job and collect his full salary for the next two weeks. He should have had his butt fired because he lied to Congress, folks. That is a federal offense. And they're going to have everybody that Obama has sent up before the Republicans is going, mm -hmm. and the Democrats. They, they also lied to the Dem in the Senate about all these hearings. They're all going to go to jail, all of them. And China is the urges you that Yahoo to restart peace talks. I know, that's because they're supplying stuff to the Palestinians. <laughs> and South African military flexes muscle ahead of the Congo mission. Yeah, well, because um, the, the problem is South Africa is no longer a major power. And like I said, the, the living conditions for Afro and Africans in Af South Africa was bad during the white rule. It's gotten worse under the black rule because they basically are chasing almost all the white businesses out of South Africa. And um, they, they said that the, the businesses can't be, there, there's certain technology, okay, this hasn't got anything to do with being black or white. There's certain technologies that they do better in certain countries than others, and they won't come to South Africa and work because they uh, they actually feel scared about going on the streets of South Africa anymore. Which I think South Africa used to be a great place to go on trips to. Yeah, and U.S. Attorney General says he didn't make a full records decision. Yes, he did. Uh, here's the biggest. They said they got him on yesterday. He had to uh, restate what he said because they said he has no knowledge of what is going on. Everything that is going on goes through his desk, and he has to know what is what his second in command is doing. So he knew exactly what is going on, and to say he has no knowledge, no. Part of the thing they think is that they uh, one of the people has made the conjecture that said he's being he's under investigation by the Fed, by the FBI, and that's why he can't say anything because they're wanting his rear, because the its assumption is is that. Um, a lot of what is coming out in leaks is coming from the Justice Department. And Manila seeks Golan Heights peacekeeper pull out after abductions. Yeah, well, that's, what? You know, you know it's, it, they're trying to keep it calm, but that never happens anymore. And census claim that black turnout surpassed white in 2012 may be flimsy. Yeah, well, it may be flimsy that Obama won the election, too. <laughs> because what happened is there was like 140% turnout in black communities, 140 percent all over the United Ooh. States. And when you start adding, okay, if you add 20 percent here, 10 percent there, 40 percent here, it then makes it look like there's a bigger black vote than there was white. It means there's probably uh, less vote, and Obama lost the election, folks. Mm. And John Kerry vows no stone unturned on Benghazi. Well, they already blamed it on the Republicans this morning. They said that it's, uh, once again, they said it's old news. It's been investigated. There's nothing else to learn other than the fact that his email said he lied through his teeth about everything. And Obama says the economy is poised for progress during manufacturing push in Texas. No, okay, here's a per thing today. They think the economy is going up this week like it is because they think Obama's gone. They know that the IRS is not going to be allowed to handle 
is health care, which means there's no, gov there's no governing body now to handle health care. So, I mean, everything that Obama has done is being undone by Obama. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Well, here's a good one. Actually, since it was raining today on Obama's thing, it's perfect. Sometimes fate gets into the way way too often.